Hello and welcome to Lamp and Light Devotion for 420 2024. Hope you're doing well today. Today's devotion is entitled Take His Hand. The scripture references Psalms 37, verse 23. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. I would rather have a guide than the best advice or the clear set of directions. When I lived in Ecuador, I usually traveled on foot, except for one occasion when I went off alone and quickly learned what a bad mistake that was. Always had with me a guide who knew the way or knew much better than I did how to find it. Trails often led through streams and rivers that we had to wade, but sometimes there were a big there was a big log laid high above the water that we had to cross. I dreaded those logs and was always tempted to take the steep, hard way down into the ravine and up the other side. But the Indians would say, just walk across, senorita. And over they would go, confident and light-footed. I was barefooted as they were, but it was not enough. On the log, I couldn't keep from looking down at the river below. I knew I was slipped. I had never been any good at balancing myself on top of the walls and things, and the log looked impossible. So my guide would stretch out a hand, and the touch of it was all I needed. I stopped worrying about slipping. I stopped looking down at the river or even at the log, and looked at the guide who held my hand with only the lightest touch. The lesson the Indians taught me was that of trust. The only thing I really needed, the touch of a steady hand, they could provide. If I had been inclined to come to a halt in the middle of the log and raise nasty questions or argue about their ability to keep me from falling, my trust would have collapsed, and so would I. I have found in, in the Bible plenty of evidence that God has guided people. I find too assurance that he is willing to guide me. He has been at it for a long time. His hand reaches towards me. I have only to take it. This devotion comes from Elizabeth Elliot in the writing In God's Guidance.